Hey everyone, this is Griffin McElroy with a rundown on everything we know about how to get the Sleeper Simulant, a new exotic heavy fusion rifle in Destiny the Taken King. I'm gonna keep this video updated as the quest line progresses. Uh, as of yet, nobody's actually figured out exactly how to get the Sleeper Simulant, uh, but we do know a bit about the quest line that you'll have to go down to get this new weapon. I should mention here that some of the missions you need to do to finish the Sleeper Simulant quest line won't always be available. Uh, they appeared for the first time on October 7th. Bungie said that it was just going to be available that day, uh, but would be back in rotation eventually. So the best thing you can do to make sure that you can uh, complete the Sleeper Simulant quest line is to finish uh, everything you can and be ready for those missions on the day that they, they suddenly appear. The first thing that you have to do in order to start the quest line at all is to collect all four pieces of the Valen Fusion Rifle. These will show up as small white engrams uh, that will drop after defeating the occasional enemy and will appear in your inventory as a purple fusion rifle, which you can then take back to the gunsmith and turn in to get some reputation with him. These are pretty common drops. I think I got all of mine just through doing the campaign missions uh, in The Taken King. Uh, but if you are still short on them, just run through some Vanguard Strikes and you should be able to get all four pieces pretty quickly. Once you have all four pieces, this new quest called The First Firewall will appear in the Cosmodrome. It's a pretty straightforward quest. You just run into this room and then you have to defeat some waves of knights. Uh, and then you'll fight one big knight and then you will get this new item called the Curious Transceiver. There's actually kind of a clever puzzle to figuring out how to use the Curious Transceiver, so uh, if you want to figure that out, stop watching the video now. Okay, I'm assuming that you're still here. You have to input four series of codes into the Curious Transceiver uh, by selecting these different uh, lines, sort of similar to how you upgrade a weapon in Destiny. The top row corresponds to Hive Knights, the bottom row corresponds to Taken Knights. You just fill in the order uh, as they appeared, uh, or you can just use this handy guide that's on screen right now. Once you've input all four codes, the Curious Transceiver will start broadcasting, uh, and this will unlock another mission in the Cosmodrome called Shadow Call. This mission's gonna start you off at the bottom of the Devil's Spire, which is the tower you had to climb in the Cade's Stash mission that came with the Taken King. Only this time around, you've only got four minutes to get to the top and then defeat a few wizards that are hanging out up there. Definitely, uh, if you can, just run by all of the enemies on the way up uh, the, the spire, you're definitely going to need as much time as you can to take out those wizards at the top. Uh, but once you finish those off, you'll get this new relic, the Ikelos Fusion Core. The Ikelos Fusion Core has to be repaired, and the way you repair it is by filling in these five nodes. The first one and easiest one to complete is while you have this relic in your inventory, just dismantle any uh, legendary heavy weapon. That'll give you the resource you need. You can pop back into the, the relic submenu and then drop it in this slot. In order to fill in the second node, uh, just do the mission, the Archive, on Venus. Uh, you can do this on easy difficulty, just run through, and once you finish the mission uh, and get the timer that's going to kick you back to orbit, you will get the item you need to fill in the second node. The other three nodes are a little bit more annoying. You have to go to Earth, the Moon, and Mars and complete Warsat public events that appear randomly uh, in those three locations. I highly recommend using a service like destinypublicevents.com, uh, which shows you a timer of when these events are going to kick off. The annoying thing is that even when a public event kicks off, there's no guarantee that it's gonna be a Warsat event. I recommend just camping out in the Moth Yards on Earth uh, to get the Warsat event there. That's, uh, for, for my money, the most common place to find it on Earth. On the moon, uh, I recommend doing Archer's Line. It's almost always a Warsat event on Archer's Line, so that's a pretty easy way to, to fill in the node for the moon. Mars is a little bit trickier. I recommend uh, running between the Buried City and Scablands and just waiting for the Warsat events to kick off there. For completing the Warsat events on those three planets, you'll get the resources you need to fill in the remaining nodes in the Fusion Core. Then you just activate the sixth node that appears and then take the completed Fusion Core back to the Gunsmith. The next step in the Sleeper Simulant quest line, after you've turned in the Ikelos Fusion Core to the Gunsmith, uh, actually appeared one day after the first Firewall mission first appeared. Talk to the gunsmith and he will give you a new quest uh, in which you have to do a more difficult version of the Fallen Saber Strike in the Cosmodrome. It's actually pretty straightforward. The enemies are higher level than in the standard Fallen Saber Strike, but uh, after you defeat the boss, you will get the last piece of the puzzle you need. Uh, just run that back to the gunsmith. 
uh, turn it in and you've got yourself a 290 sleeper simulant. Uh, as you can see, it's got some pretty fun perks on it. It can uh, pierce through enemies uh, and damage enemies behind the enemy that you actually shoot. Uh, and then once you upgrade it, you can get a, a perk that allows it to ricochet around the room, similar to uh, hard light. Uh, it's a fusion rifle, but it's interesting. It only fires a single bolt, uh, but that single bolt does a hell of a lot of damage. Bungie has referred to this thing as the new Gallahorn, and I think that might be a bit accurate. Obviously, it doesn't have wolf pack rounds or anything like that, but the amount of damage you can do in a single shot with the sleeper simulant is pretty ridiculous. Uh, I can definitely see this becoming a sort of must-have instrument of destruction uh, for, for those, those boss fights where you need to do a lot of damage really quickly uh, because you, you can burn down an enemy so, so fast using the, the sleeper simulant. Anyway, that's the guide. Again, uh, a lot of this stuff isn't always going to be available, so make sure that you've collected the different weapon parts uh, to, to be ready to take on the first step of the mission, and then make sure that you do the Curious Transceiver puzzle and you uh, complete the Iklos Fusion Core so that you can be ready for the second piece of the puzzle on those uh, those missions on the respective days when they actually appear. We're not exactly sure when they're, they're going to be in rotation, but uh, Bunchy promises they will be back soon.